Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US Report. And I want to start with uh, Morgan's today. It's um, same as the Bank of America and uh, and the other financial uh, institutions as well. They're all pretty much in the same sort of boat, um, but this one's really quite easy to uh, to understand. We'd been looking for an ABC here for wave four, and then up for wave five to one hundred for Morgan's here in terms of. Uh, uh, a five wave structure moving up here so we can pretty much just look at this as uh, wave one wave two maybe wave three is not even done just yet here I just need to pull that apart but we'll just call it wave four and wave five up to 100. it should get pulled up to 100 if it's going to fail it would normally fail at 98 okay so obviously it needs to navigate the levels are group one which is one two and three then five and then eight um, but the main point here is that, as I've always mentioned, that this is the, the drivers to the upside here. And then we've got um, then we've got Amazon and Google and so on. So they, if I can just bring Amazon across and Google across too, we should really just have a bit of a look at, at those guys too, I guess. I want to find Google first. So this is um, Alphabet, and this is their A shares. Their A shares actually touched on 1,000 here, where their uh, C shares uh, did not touch on to 1,000 here. So this is the best, better one to, uh, to to look at. But in a nutshell, when this started here, we were looking at a um, a reaction from the 1,000 um, as an A and a B and a C wave here, pulling back into the box. Uh, our target area and then uh, moving up making a new high above here so that's going on quite nicely now if I just go to the tick chart here and drill in on this so the A wave and A and a B and a C for the B wave here and then five waves down for the C wave here uh, and then the move up so this is basically just got still you know still got uh, room to move to the upside here and Amazon too is if I bring Amazon in on the tick chart too, it had its A, B, and C here as well. Uh, this is one. This is a one-hour chart. Sorry, uh, not that it matters. Um, and it's moving back up too. So it will take these highs out here. It could end up anywhere from 30 to, to 50 up here, probably maybe even higher. Um, I'll work that out as we as we go. But um, certainly to take these highs out. So we've got technology and we've got the finance sector. Um, pushing us to the upside there. They're the sort of drivers that we're looking at. And if I can just find the S&P here. So on the daily chart here, just have a look at the bigger picture here. We're looking from this wave four here to this wave five up here. We're looking at intermediate wave one and two. And we're looking at five minor waves here for intermediate wave three. But our main thing here is we're looking at uh, minor wave four here and then one and two and three and four and then up for five here. So the 2,500 is, uh, in terms of the trading levels, is, is a medium level. And uh, I, it's kind of like a bit of a psychological finishing line as well. So um, let's see if we get uh, up, up there. We'll take it step by step. But main point here is that um, the top of wave three here uh, and down to wave four here is a corrective bullish pattern. So we'll see a new high being made above this here. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is a long way off here to get to 2,500, I, I understand that, but um, it's rarely that you'd see a market sort of fail, um, you know, before that level. If it was going to fail, this market would have failed to find support on 2,300 here, which is the top of group one. So once it's left that and it's up in this space, it should get pulled up into, into this area through uh, here. So let's just drill in and have a bit of a look at this here. Um, I'm not sure what chart we were looking at, but... Um, this one hour chart will do the trick. 
So from this wave four here, we'd counted one and two and three and four and five, then an ABC back. Spike through the 61.8%, but uh, that's life. Um, but certainly a nice A, B and C in here for wave two. And then we're moving up into wave three here. And this could be counted differently here, but I think it's important to, to understand how the levels work as well. So this is the, um, if I can just get that on there, the two, get it on there at the 450, that's the midpoint here. So normally what we would see at a level, a little bit like this as well here, the arrival, the reaction, and then the, then the first high above the level, then the correction. So much the same here as well. So the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, then some type of corrective pattern, then up from here, something like that. So um, if you can kind of expect that to, uh, to, to play out here, not as big as this, of course, but I'm just exaggerating it, it across here. But um, yeah, we've got to go from wave three to wave four here. But at the same time, too, I mean, we're a long way off the two five here. But uh, in some way or another, I feel that um, that it will just find its way up there somehow. I don't know where the extension is going to be. If wave one and wave no wave three looks like it's got more legs in it than more distance in it than wave one um yeah well let's see how we go uh with uh with, with this markets move quite quickly between they move slowly between one and two and three but move quite quickly between three and five and five and eight here but um even though this is a sort of a, a hopeful target up here the two two five um our our um target in terms of the levels from two five to two four here is group one which is one two and three then the midpoint five and then group two here which is 65 72 and 80. so our target uh, is the next level so after a corrective pattern here then we'll see the market into this space here with uh four 2472 as our, as, as our main sort of target uh, area in here. If that becomes support, then we'll be pushing up from that area there, which I assume that it, that it will. Um, it's just a matter of, um, of getting there with that. I'm just going to take that to there, really, because I'm just having a bit of a look. Yeah, right. Okay, so yeah give a bit of a guide stick there and the other markets too are a bit like this too so we can look at the Russell uh, here um, you know same thing again here as well I mean the 1500 is the medium level um, you know will it get all the way up there um, I, I kind of think that it will um, I've got the count here as wave one and two here uh, and then wave three here and wave four here but this this it doesn't look right here because of um, of the overlapping uh, wave structures. So there's something not quite right about this particular count. But what I can say is I can say that the market ha it was resistance at the 1400 here, and now it's support. Not only that is that this pattern within here has got overlapping wave structures, so it makes it corrective. And I would assume that would be on lower volume through here as well. So we would expect squaring uh, time and price to the upside will be certainly moving up. So this is a, a long trade here with a stop under the uh, 1400. And um, let's just have a quick look at, at the DJ. I haven't seen that for a while. Yeah, same thing here as well. Um, the, the resistance is now the tested support. It's tested because it's come back down through it. I mean, it's come back down, tested it, and then it's trading at its highs here. So all these markets can uh, certainly move up from here. So uh, long trades are uh, the direction that we're looking at. All righty, cheers.